my name is Guillermo and I'm with Vacuum Atmospheres Service Department. Uh, in this video today I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, how to replace a rubber glove utilizing the evacuatable glove port cover. Okay. To begin we want to turn the knob counterclockwise so that the bar and the nylon tips fully latch and engage on the outer rim of the glove port. Okay. We then want to turn the knob clockwise so that we can begin pulling the back plate and the o-ring up against the back of the glove, glove port cover, or the glove port I should say, so that it creates a good seal. nice and tight. This will allow us to remove the glove without compromising the uh, glove box's atmosphere. Uh, we then proceed um, by removing the uh, glove port clamp and we can do this uh, with either a 5 16 inch uh, socket or a flathead screwdriver. Clamp. We then remove the electrical tape. And then we remove the glove o ring. The next step is to remove the old glove. Okay, so we remove the old glove and we are going to install the new glove and uh, what I uh, will be installing here right now in a moment is is an ambidextrous glove which basically is designed uh, to be used uh, on either hand so either the left hand or the right hand can go into this glove and uh, typically uh, when this glove when this style of glove is installed uh, we typically install it with a thumb uh, clocked at the 12 o'clock position. If you are installing a uh, left and right hand glove, uh, I typically like to install and clock the thumb at the 9 o'clock position for a right hand glove and the thumb at a 3 o'clock position for a left hand glove. Okay, so I'm now going to install the glove, ensuring that the lip of the glove sits right along the groove that is closest to the window. Excellent. And then we install the glove o-ring on the second groove on the glove port cover farthest away from the window. Followed by applying some electrical tape. In this process, I like to kind of stretch the tape as I apply it. And two to three layers of this electrical tape should do the trick. We then install the glove clamp. And we secure all that in place by tightening it down in place. All right, now that the glove has been installed, um, we have trapped a uh, small amount of oxygen. Uh, so there's a pocket of oxygen in here uh, that we would need to displace and get rid of so that we do not 
um, dump it inside of the glove box uh, atmosphere. So to do that, we are going to evacuate the um, the glove by simply uh, activating um, the uh, slide valve that is on the back of the glove port cover. So this sliding valve is a three position valve. Basically you have an, uh, a, uh, an off position, a vacuum, and a refill uh, um, function on it. So basically uh, at this point we want to evacuate the glove to remove the oxygen pocket that is or that got trapped in the installation process. Uh, we then want to slide the valve all the way up to backfill the rubber glove with a uh, clean atmosphere. Uh, in this case we are using a uh, uh, we have a nitrogen atmosphere. In some cases you will have uh, an argon atmosphere and and doing this will will reduce the chances of oxygen uh, migrating into the box. Now you can see the, the uh, glove is, is pretty limb, um, uh, uh, erect and we pull vacuum on it and we're going to repeat the step uh, between three to five times. All right, now that that has been completed, what you want to do is you want to set the position, uh, you want to set the valve in the off position so that it's not uh, either evacuating or refilling the glove box. So the off position, okay? And then the next thing to do is to simply remove the glove port cover. And we do that by turning the knob counterclockwise And this will start releasing the back plate from, um, from the glove port. And now uh, we can disengage the, uh, the clips from both sides to release the glove port. And this is how you replace a glove utilizing the evacuatable glove port cover.